All right, what's up guys, it's Valid. Before the video starts, I just wanna thank you guys for 1K subscribers. This is like truly an amazing feeling and I appreciate you all. All right, so this video is a tips and tricks video that I've been promising in my other videos for like a while since like 600 subs. But as a little bit of a bonus, I'm also gonna put how to become a fast editor as well. So the first half is gonna be how to become a fast editor and then the last half is basically gonna be like tips and tricks and how to get faster. If you're already a fast editor, I'll put the timestamps up on the screen so you can skip to that part in the video. But if you're not a fast editor and you want to learn, I would just continue watching from here. Also, I'd appreciate if you use my code in the foreign item shop. It's code valid, spelled V-A-L-I-D like that. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. Alright, before I get into it, I want to point out that I'm playing a keyboard and a mouse. Most of you guys are used to me playing on a controller or something, but I'm actually a hybrid player. So I can play on both keyboard and mouse and controller. I usually play controller, but I can play keyboard and mouse too, and I'm not warmed up on controller, but I am on keyboard, so I just want to play in this for now. I don't feel like switching over. This video will apply to both controller and keyboard and mouse, by the way. I also want to point this out real quick. A lot of people think fast editing revolves around paint, which it does, but it doesn't mean you can't edit fast if you're on, like, 20 or 30. It's definitely still possible, it just can't be as fast as what zero ping would be basically. My first tip to becoming a fast editor is learning your timing for editing, as in stuff like triple edits. So when you go into a triple edit, you gotta edit the floor and cone first obviously. It's basically the timing with this and not being able to see any blue. So when you open a tile, there's gonna be blue there, like the tiles, we all know this. You basically just want to see that, see a little of that as possible, so like that. The less blue you see, the faster it'll be, basically. You can just get it better by doing like those. You don't have to do that though, you just do like triple edits as well to get it better. Either one of those works, I just practice a lot of those. Also, after you get that timing down a bit farther, you can go into edit courses to increase your speed. It's not going to be like very beneficial because you're not building anything like you would be with free building, but you can get your timing and speed down a bit better. Same thing with direct edits. You want to see like as little blue as possible when you do this. For example, like I just did a quad edit there. Same thing with your cone as well. The faster you select these styles here, like this, the faster that it's going to be. The next tip to becoming a fast editor would be to get your crosshair placement better. So let's say you're going to a triple editor, right? You don't want to like edit like that, because uh, you want to edit like, like even from like dragging from the middle to the middle of that, which is what a lot of players do, like this. This is not good. I mean, because in real time you can't specifically see that you're dragging from here to here, so it's fine. But like, just try to get this as short as possible. It's like the same thing I mentioned about the drag edits over there. The shorter you do this, the faster the edits are gonna be. Also, the other thing about crosshair placement is your crosshair could be set up for the next edit as well. For example, if you're going like this, and you just edit this, look, look where this, look where my crosshair placement is, right on that tile there. Because you don't want to go like this, edit, and be looking down here unless you swipe up. Or you don't want to go like this and be looking all the way up here, because then it just makes you get it harder. But if you do that, my crosshair placement is right in line for the next edit. The next thing you have to learn is combos. You can't just be doing quads like this. And then like end right here. You can't do that. It'll, it'll just get boring really quick. I mean, it's somewhat impressive, but it does get boring very quickly. So I would say mix it up like doing a quad edit, and then like maybe like a ramp like this. Going down, go to the side, and then go down again. Just, just different stuff like this. Which this all comes down to practice again, so... Alright, so my first step becoming a fast shutter would be set up on these pads. With this pad, you can change the speed that you run at. So, before you're warmed up, or anything like that, before you warm up in general, put it to 0 0.9, press OK, and then start the game. What this is going to do is you're going to make you run slower, and then you can practice your free building and editing with this pad running at 0 0.9, so it goes 0 0.8. And then... When you're warmed up, you'll be like way more consistent. So basically, just practice your edits with this, and then become consistent with this, and then turn it back to normal whenever you're warmed up. Here's what it looks like I'm free building. As you can see, I'm much slower. 
making it much easier to edit. So when you get consistent doing this, basically just put it back to 1.0 and you should be much more consistent. Another tip I have to start playing more edit courses. Edit courses will basically just either make you more consistent and increase your speed. So if you're somewhat slow, start at like level 3. Level 3 isn't hard at all, but then once you get very consistent level 3, you go to level 4 and then eventually level 5. And then that'll increase your speed over time. My last tip that I have is for single tiles. This is basically what I do for editing. So I jitter click. Jitter clicking looks like this. To do this, I use F and G. My pointer finger is slightly higher on G than F. So then I'll just press G and F like this. G, F, G, F. But you're basically clicking at the same time. That. But if you combine that with jitter clicking, it should look like this. To jitter click, it's basically just like tensing up your arm to the point where it starts to shake. And you just put your fingers on your keys and press them down while you do that. Also, you're gonna need pretty fast CPS while doing this. I average around 12 to 13, sometimes 14 CPS. So when I do this, it looks pretty fast.